What's up, MK Squad? Welcome back to another legendary top of the week reaction video. If you're new to the channel, come and join the family. Hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on. Excuse my son, he's upstairs watching Elmo. He might be a little bit loud. Excuse my son, the family. Um, also, if you're already a part of the channel, man, we truly appreciate you and thank you. And every single one of you, man, is a blessing and you are amazing, man. So today, 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 we got Tom McDonald, If I Change. This video was actually highly recommended by you guys, family. And speaking of recommendations, comment down below any videos y'all want to see, want to see, man, because we sure will be reacting to them. So make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up, man. It helps out the channel a lot. It helps crush that YouTube algorithm, and it's totally free. So let's go, family. Okay, we got some cars starting up in here. Alright, so this song was like, if I'm not mistaken, five years ago, but the simple fact is the beat is totally something different. I expect Tom not to, I didn't expect Tom to rap to, basically. I didn't never hear a beat like this from Tom, I should say. Let's get it. If I change from it, y'all gonna stick around. If I change from it, y'all still hold me down. If the money get me trippin', will you be there while I'm winning? Are you finished? Then you gonna bounce. Yeah. So you cool with me now. Yeah. But if I change from it, yeah. Will you hate me when the shit change? Shit change. I know people switch it up. Switch it up. And you know I do my best for you. Sometimes. This give me a Drake type vibe. You know what I'm saying? This give me a Drake type of swagger vibes. I love the vibe. You know, I love the flow with it. I love the visuals, you know, out in the woods, you know, in a truck, you know, cruising in the lane, doing your own thing. Let's keep going though. I'm just, this isn't good enough. I've been on your television acting like I don't know you. And you probably pissed off since you feel like I owe you. But I did it on my own, man. It's just like I told you. My shit about to pop like I shook up the soda. Tell me what the fuck <laughs> that was a high line. My sh about to pop like I shook up a soda. So he got the priest outfit on. You know what I'm saying? Look like he got one of his, um, you know, helpers. You know what I'm saying? I forgot what they were called in the church community. I just know the priest. And then you got the helpers. The you priest helpers. If I change from it, will y'all still hold me down? If the money get me tripping, will you be there while I'm winning? Are you finished? Then you gonna bounce. Are you cool with me now? Yeah. But if I change from it, yeah. when you ride with the road bang, I know people getting jealous. They've been talking hella bad about us, and I've been trying to protect it. I know that all the rumors ain't about to slow down. They got ammunition loaded up in my hometown. They got shooters in the city holding on to the rounds. No serial numbers, so they will never be found. But tell me what the fuck you think I'm worried about. Worry about down in the city, I don't hurry up. I will judge you when they call the execution to kill you. I ain't even gonna call the fucking jury out. I ain't tripping cause I've been there where they coming from. I ain't sleeping, got a grip on it. Second place, talking crazy about the number one. But I don't give a shit about it. Yeah. If I change. I like the concept, man. I like the concept here. Embracing faith and changing your life and, you know, getting baptized. It seems like he's about to baptize the man, you know what I'm saying? Cleanse him and rejuvenate him, and he's becoming closer to God and accepting God as his Savior. I love it. Plot twists, wow! I did not expect that to come out of the book. I'm think, oh man, I didn't know what to expect to come out of the book. Honestly, I just thought he was saying a line. Honestly, I thought he was gonna say a scripture verse. My man popped out, bruh. But if I change from it, work. If I change from it, 
Yo. Bro. I did not expect that, bro. Yo. If I change from it, we all still hold me down. If the money get me tripping, will you be there while I'm winning? No, you finished, then you gonna bounce. You cool with me now. But if I change from it, yeah. Hold on, she next? Wow. MK Squad, y'all gotta help me understand this, man. Cause I'm a little bit in the loop de doop confused, man. I just like the plot twist was just crazy. I did not expect that, man. You know what the funny thing about faith is? I like that line. It's easier to run out of bullets than it is faith. A man can run out of faith, though. People tell me that they lose faith in things all the time. Which I never really understood, but the way I see it, maybe it's not that a man loses faith. Maybe faith loses him. Faith is like the sun shining down into a field on a hot summer day. If you walk into the forest, the sunlight doesn't shine down on me as often. It shines down on me, but only in the places where the trees let it through. Now, and that's very interesting. That's a very inspirational line right there. Maybe it's the faith. Okay, it's not, maybe it's man that doesn't lose faith. Maybe it's faith that loses man. Just like the sun that shines down, you know, through good seasons and bad seasons. Only if the trees let the shed of lights come through and shine on certain, you know. Something like that, he said. Only if the, the light, only if the trees let the light shine down on them. So that's, that's actually... I mean, faith sometimes can be very a test, too. So I get where you're coming from. I totally agree. Faith could be a test, too, because sometimes your own faith could be a test to see how strong you commit to your faith through circumstances. And sometimes you don't have no more belief in yourself. And hopefully you have a good circle of individuals that have faith and believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. So that's very interesting. I can agree. Sometimes it's faith that loses the man. Instead of the man losing the faith. The further you wander into those woods, the darker it gets. Eventually, it's so deep into the goddamn bush that the sun don't shine through anymore. Yeah. You know what they say, though. Halfway is as far as you can walk into the woods. The other half, you're walking out. Maybe that means that there's hope on the other side. Maybe faith is waiting to shine down on you when you come up the other end. I get it. It's always not, it's always, it seems like when you're in a storm or you're going through the tunnel, it's dark. But then just waiting for you to shine at the other end, which will be the light. And your faith will rise even stronger when you go through the storm or go through the tunnel. I love it, man. I love the message. Even though that gun had a crazy plot twist to me, man. I did not expect that. What worries me is when we reach that other end, would God have already passed judgment for what happened in the dark times? Version. 
Psalms 5.16. Confess your faults to one another. Pray for one another. That ye may be healed. I love it. I love it. The water flowing, the naturalness flowing, the naturalness flow of faith. I feel like I'm just feeling all good energy and natural flow within faith just as the streams is flowing the water. And the simple fact that you pray, you confess your sins to others, you pray in faith, and you pray for others as well. You know what I'm saying? As you pray for yourself and I be healed. Yeah, I, I love it, man. The King James Version. I love, I love how he expresses his strong sense of faith in the song and the message that's actually important to him. Effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You know what that means? That means all your shit can be swept away just like the dirt on the hood of my truck. That's why I like it so much. I love it, man. Now it makes sense why he did the gun, which was the situation going through dark times, which he did. You know what I'm saying? And the gun basically represented the darkness he did. And that's when he said, even when you reach to the end of the tunnel, the guy already passed prejudgment. But then he flipped it up. Then he, you know, went forward with the King James verse. So I let it, I let it message, guys. I'm so thankful you guys, you guys family actually recommended this video. At first, I was like, whoa, like, like, what is going on? Like, you know what I mean? But it actually turned out amazing. The message is amazing. You know, the, the, the visuals, the acting, the significance throughout the whole music video, man, it really showed an important, strong message. Um, strong to the bone. You see what I'm saying? All the way down to the core of faith. And I hope you guys are having an amazing, blessed day. Make sure I like, comment, share, and subscribe. And like I always say, spread that peace, love, and positivity. And peace.